So this is what we are dealing with when doing predictions. We are starting with an input x, which we believe determines an output y. But in general, we don't know it. For example, we can think of x being the price of some of our products and y being the sales the product generates. Our task is, based on previously observed points, to make a best guess for inputs where we don't know their outputs. In our example, we could have changed the price of our product a couple of times and measured its sales. Based on that, we want to predict the sales for a price which we don't test it yet. In the end, we don't want to predict just a couple of points, but we want to predict every point. So we are asked to predict a function. There are many approaches in doing so, like linear regression, but one in particular clever is using Gaussian process regression. The idea is, based on a given input, to consider all functions and add a probability to each of them. So we can determine which of them we believe are more likely than others. How can this be done mathematically? The key term here is Gaussian process. Being precise, Gaussian processes are not really a probability measure over functions, but let's just say it is a valid way of thinking of them. In this video, I just want to give you an idea of how to categorize them rather than going into details. We are starting with the normal distribution. Let me remind you that this probability distribution is fully characterized by its mean and variance, which, among others, makes it so thankful to work with. Drawing a random sample from the normal distribution will give us a number distributed around its mean. We can generalize the normal distribution to sample not a number, but a vector of numbers, which is called the multivariate normal distribution. We can even more generalize to sample an infinite vector of numbers. And this will lead to the definition of Gaussian process. Let us accept for now that Gaussian processes are doing precisely what we want. So we are in a situation of having a probability distribution over functions. What happens when we're adding more information? So this means we're adding more points. What we want is to adapt our probability distribution accordingly. So this means we need to calculate the probability of a function under the condition that we observe new points. By definition, this is given by the probability of the function and our points divided through the probability of observing those points at the given input. Luckily, in our situation, we cannot just theoretically, but actually calculate this condition and probability. And this is super necessary since only this way we can derive an algorithm which a computer can understand. So now we have two parts. We have the probability distribution over functions given by Gaussian processes, and we have a formula to adapt the distribution to new points accordingly. We can combine those to derive an algorithm which calculates and adapts our distribution iteratively to the points we observe. However, in the end, we most likely are forced to make a unique guess. This raises the question of choosing a single function which expresses our best guess based on our probability measure. A reasonable guess is the mean over all functions. But how do we average over infinitely many functions? Well, luckily, the mean function is actually part of the Gaussian process and can be calculated. In fact, Gaussian processes are determined by a mean function and a covariance function like the normal distribution is. In the end, we cannot just make a best guess, but also quantify uncertainty since we define a probability measure. So meaning that we not only have one function, but a range where we would expect most of our functions to be in. Putting this all together, this is called a Gaussian process regressor.